<laughs> Happy so, early birthday. You're so thoughtful. What's on the menu today, buddy? This month we've got old news. Unboxing. A space box. This is Aquarius Plus Computer because it is time for your faxes. Oh. Retro memes. <laughs> and your homebrew projects. Thank you, Devin. We'll also have your nostalgic photos. Welcome to The Retro Show. No, it's not a dirty flea. It's episode 33. Oh, dear. Oh, oh hello, Chip Dippers. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> the, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. And may we be the first to wish you a very happy Christmas. Or a Merry Christmas. Did we say Happy Christmas? Merry is, like, drunk. Yeah. Aren't you a little tipsy? We know you can't drink. <laughs> You're breastfeeding. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, yes. And from that wonderful news to, well, some old news. Man's old news. And first up on old news. Oh. As her uh, ears become old news, did you see that Macaulay Culkin finally got his Hollywood Walk of Fame star? I did. And there to support him was his on-screen mum from our famous, from our favourite retro Christmas movie, Home Alone, Catherine O'Hara, yes? Yes, also known as Moira Rose from Schitt's Creek. How does she say her son's name? David. So how would she say Kevin? Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Very good. Congrats, Macaulay. And very sweet that she was there to support him. Next up. I don't think anyone could have predicted this new camera announcement to drop in 2023. This is probably the most unexpected camera release we will get all year. Kodak is releasing a brand new motion picture camera. Yes, that's right. Analog motion picture film, Super 8 to be precise. Wow. This is the long overdue and imaginatively named Kodak Super 8 camera. <laughs> very imaginative. But yeah, that's real film. Who would have thought that technology would come up so far that it would then go back to film and uh, film would be the new technology again? Well, Kodak. Who went out of business? Yeah. I mean, Polaroid and Kodak, I don't think of the same company anymore. They're people that bought the rights and then... But hey, if they're doing stuff like that, I don't think we can complain. It's nice to see the Polaroid cameras in the shops as well. Yeah. With, with the old logos and everything. Super. I'll have eight of those. Super Thanks. eight. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the joke. If you're looking for any last minute Christmas gifts for next Christmas, because it's not out yet, sadly. Okay. Next up, I'll take this instead. A new, new, new Xbox? With a twist. Ah. So this is made by Mega, not Lega. <laughs> but that looks insane. Mega. Thank you. That looks insanely cool, doesn't it? I mean, I, I think the Nintendo Entertainment System was insanely cool. Yeah. There's, I mean, that's retro, though. That's 2005? Oh, uh, 2005 that Oof. came out. So 20 years almost. Ugh. But yeah, seriously, I, if you didn't get the message, if you're looking for any last minute I will get Christmas you an Xbox gifts, 360. Well, don't tell me that. Got to wait for the elf on the shelf to... I know, you're a little elf, I know. So here's um, another hint. That's, that's the one. Wait, what? That's the one thing. Am I going to end up building it, though? No, this is just for just for me and oh. Baby Frank to okay. have fun with. But I was thinking... So then I thought... So then I thought, thought, thought Mega have come out with this. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get Lega to come out with a, this. True. So what if Mega built this, mm -hmm. it is after all, I mean, is the Xbox 360 the best selling home computer of all time? No. No. Commodore 64 is. But then they could actually put the motherboard from the C64 Mini inside it and you could have an actual fully working Lego Commodore 64. Mega, 
if you're watching this, I think that, that's a mega good idea. I agree. Thank you. Next up. This is the moment when Brenda Lee found out her song Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, recorded at just 13 years old, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Did you know she was 13 when she sang that? No. Today, we're number one on the Hot 100 Billboard chart, 65 years later. Now, you are. You are. So yeah, they re-released it. She made a new video for it. Um, and actually they are rocking around the Christmas tree right now. Aww. <laughs> They're weeping around the Christmas tree. Yeah. That's so sweet. Bless. Now, from slightly more mature women singing music mm -hmm. to... You remember this from last week? I do. <laughs> We've actually been listening to this in the car. It was a surprise, surprise. It was. So we talked about how Silla Black has become a meme. Will you believe your eyes if the unexpected brings a smile? That's the big surprise, surprise, surprise. So that's what became a meme. And a lot of people commented that her real name is Priscilla Lady. White. <laughs> Silla Black is Priscilla White. Um, as I remember it, she, I think she married a guy whose last name was Black, just by coincidence. So oh. she became Silla Black. But here's the real surprise, surprise. Did you know who her manager was? You wouldn't. No, <laughs> no I didn't know. Um, it was the same as the Beatles, Brian Epstein. Oh. Not to be confused with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of, yes. here's her good friends. Oh. Paul and John. Show without the wonderful and talented thingy. <laughs> hey, I'm watching you on the She's watching us on the There she is, Priscilla White with the Beatles, half of them. So this is a song called It's For You. Now, you could get, guess this. Do you know who wrote this song for her? Um, they were on screen a few seconds I, ago. Yeah. Was it Paul McCartney? And? John Lennon. Correct. So the Beatles wrote a song for Silla Black. Surprise, surprise. Um, I wonder if they said it's for you when they gave it the Honestly, song to I'm her. sure they did. I, I bet John Lennon was like, it's for you. <laughs> I can't do a, a what is it, liver? Liver part Yeah. Nor can I, to be, to be fair. It's for you. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, but that's not John Lennon. That was Paul. It's for you. But anyway. <laughs> Very good. There you go. So that on that surprise, surprise. That was old news. It was old news. And it's time for us to discover how the Grinch has been terrorizing children this Christmas. Oh. Coming up, it's I see what you mean. We'll see what he means. Hmm. So the Grinch, of course, our favorite one of, <laughs> Home Alone was our favorite. Mm -hmm. Our second favorite retro Christmas movie. Here's what he's been up to this Christmas. All seems nice so far. <laughs> Please watch the children. <laughs> Darting under the piano. <laughs> Hiding under the piano, I love it. And next up, it gets worse. I love how they're just going for it. <laughs> that blood curdling scream. Oh, somebody was naughty this year. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I don't know if I'll have the heart to do that to baby. You would never. Not, I might. not to that <laughs> funny. Not to that extent, perhaps. No. She'll just sit and watch the Commodore Christmas demo with me. Which of course we've got playing right over there. We sure do. Next up, the Grinch again. <laughs> Ripping someone's nose off. Jim Carrey. And his co star. Yeah. I do hope that was the end of the filming day. I'm sure it was. That's about nine hours of makeup. So funny. <laughs> Thank you, Feeling Toast. And from Christmas movies, too. <laughs> 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 B 
But I do think the elf was too stunned to speak. I would. I had the exact <laughs> same reaction. Oh my gosh! What a great! Um, I, mean, I would have just frozen with terror as well. I don't, don't think that was staged at all. Oh, absolutely not. That there's definitely like that guy pooped his pants. <laughs> yeah, but he made a good video, so thank you, buddy, oh. buddy the elf. Next up, Mariah Carey, but she needs to sneeze. Sorry, Mariah. Hope you don't get a copyright strike for that, because technically that's not the original, is it? I don't want to sneeze for Christmas. Oh, Next. That made my eyes water. Yeah. Get a stereo system for Christmas. Get a turntable, tape, deck, speakers, receivers. Get a stereo for Christmas now, because Crazy Eddie's Christmas sale is going on right now. With prices so low, right he's practically like giving stereos away. Shop around, check all the advertised specials, get the best prices you can find. Then go to Crazy Eddie and he'll beat them. So get a stereo for Christmas. Get it now, because Crazy Eddie's Christmas sale is on right now with prices that are insane. You are insane, sir. So it's on right now in 18, 1981. We had a version of that here in California called Crazy Gideons. <laughs> and it, uh, it, he was like, I'm Crazy Gideon, come get, you know, like. Well, Gideon designed the incredible Ultimate 64, which we have sitting here. Mm -hmm. um, do you know if Crazy Eddie, do you think that advert helped his business? Do you think he's they're still around? Um, I can I, answer that. I, I want to say yes. He was convicted of fraud in 1997 and sentenced to eight years in jail. He passed away in like 2016. Oh, well, he, <laughs> technically he's not in jail anymore. He, technically, yeah. So I wonder if it was a money laundering thingy. Oh, I'm sure. Thingy. Yeah, because yeah. nobody, like, it's not very inviting with someone shouting at you. Oh dear. All right, next up. Took my niece to this church for a Christmas event and they had a picture of Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi on the wall because they thought it was Jesus. I asked when him first, it was very serious when they told me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, Jedi is a religion, isn't it? Yeah. For many. Yeah. Speaking for myself as well. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Marvelous. That was marvelous. And coming up next, it's time for a little Christmas festive unboxing. Whoosh. Well, it wouldn't be a Christmas of unboxing without a Christmassy visit to Harley Fractic from the Game Club. Yeah. yeah. Harley Fractic, I have a delivery for you. Merry Christmas! What is it, honey? Santa gave me a membership to the Oprah Book Club. I'm five years old and I can't read yet. Hey, are you looking for a last minute gift for me? I have one. I will all send Nick here tonight. I want him with a big ribbon on his head. I want to tell him that he should go on the PCB way, where you can get PCB starting at just five dollars. Then I want to look him straight in the eye. Then I want to tell him with a cheap lying, no good rotten floor flushing, long life reindeer running, candy cane eating, nickelback glistening, dog kissing, thoughtless, hopeless, heartless, bug eyes, stiff legged, worm headed, bag of elf cookies, he really is. Hallelujah, holy smokes, worth the children's Tylenol. <laughs> By Harley Fractic. That was some seriously good acting. I am so impressed by yeah, her. She's constantly impressing us. <sighs> Baby Fractic, you've got some shoes to fill. <laughs> Don't fill them just yet. Well, from shoes to stockings, and let's get rid of the TV. Ready? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It works every time. Uh, let's get unboxing. All right. And first up, this. Yes, this is from Fan Home, who are dedicated to developing unique collections and build up models of much loved movie brands. And this is from the 1987 film Robocop. And this is a detailed model fully articulated with original sound effects and phrases from the film. The collector's edition is made of metal and high quality injected ABS. And he has a super realistic silicone face. I don't think the face is in this particular. Ooh, but you can see how big his head is. Big head. It's always such a big head, Robocop. The model is over half a meter tall. That's about two feet. It does have two feet. Yeah, it does. 
And so I made the perfect last minute Christmas gift subscription for anyone that uh, hasn't got an Xbox 360 Lego Mega Blocks. In the first monthly package, you'll receive two assembly stages, one build magazine, and each month after that, you'll receive four assembly stages and one magazine. Plus Robocop branded gifts, t-shirt, cap, binder, posters, and a battery pack. Subscribe now at fanhome.com. Check out our link in the description. We're big fans of this. Mm -hmm. See you at home. Oh, okay. Um, now, as it would happen, there is a fax coming in right now because it is time for your faxes. Oh. So we're going to read some of the faxes that we've received into the studio here. Would you be so kind as to take over Absolutely. filming duties? Uh, I recently did a video back to fax uh, or fax to the future, all about getting back to the fax machine. <laughs> And uh, when that video released, I came in, I had such a pile on the floor, pile of faxes. Um, anyway, we're just going to pick a few at random. You can see how many we've got to go through. That's about one third of them. <laughs> I also received all of these. Absolutely amazing, you guys. First up, no matter how hard you try, it's impossible to fax a cat. Do you know why? Why? That's not a fax, it's a cat scan. Ah. Uh... Next up from Aaron, Practic. He said, you guys rock. I loved your most recent video. Fax machines rock. Yeah, each one of your videos is like a good whiskey enjoyed in front of a fireplace. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Very Aaron. Nice. Yeah, and Christmas Eve with, with the whiskey reference. Happy Holly Fax from Martin, Adriana, and Jackson Doggo. Aww. Cheers, you guys. I think Jackson designed that on Mac Paint. Oh, yes. On Mac Port. Port. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Fun project, next step, faxes in space. Ooh. Don't think I shouldn't give me ideas. It's gaming twice. If it detects an error, because our machine is so old, it doesn't have ECM error correction, it will send it again. This is a final demand. Failure to comply will result in recovery. Oh. Final demand for what, Damien Sloan? Naughty boy. <laughs> uh, should we do one more? Yeah. All right. Oh. Everyone knows PCP stands for Pixel Computer Buddy. Cheers, R2. R2C4. Ah, oh, here, come, here it comes now. Ooh. See you, buddy. Very good. Well, from Robocop and to Robo Astromex, should we unbox another gift a gift? Sure. Okay. What is coming up next? <laughs> another fax another coming fax. in. It's all go here in the Retro Recipe Studio. <laughs> 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 Literally couldn't have got any more all go than the baby farting on cue. Uh, good job, baby farting. <laughs> Joining in the fun already. Mm -hmm. So this is, you might think this isn't very retro, but you can open that. Because what we've got here is the Aquarius Plus computer. Kindly sent to us by Sean Harrington, aka One Stage, who helped create the Star Wars cockpit arcade that is sitting right here. He did supply a mouse and keyboard, ready paired with this device. Now this is basically a what if the Aquarius had never been discontinued back in 1983, 1984. So the Aquarius was a computer made by Mattel Electronics, oh. the, the toy brand. Um, it had a rubber keyboard, kind of like the Spectrum, oh. um, but it wasn't very powerful. It had 4K of RAM. Incredible, I know. Wow. Uh, but sadly, yeah, it was discontinued later that year. As another fax comes in. Now, if we could train Puppy Fractic to go and collect the faxes. It's not a retriever. <laughs> True. This is a recreation and advancement of the Aquarius. The Aquarius Plus has half a megabyte of RAM. Wow. And a real Z80, Zilog Z80 processor in there, just like the Spectrum had and like the original had. But it's got way more colors. It's got Wi-Fi for oh. firmware updates, yeah. Bluetooth and USB-C, so it must be good. Yeah. Check out the link in the description for the Aquarius Plus. Well, I guess it's the age of Aquarius. It is, and I'm an Aquarius as well. Oh. If you need to get me some for my birthday. <laughs> right after Christmas. I'll have one of these, please. Ta-da, look what I got you. You're Happy so, early birthday. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Here comes the facts. None of this is going to wake the baby, of course. Right, doing my best to wake the baby. You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. So let's see what's in here. Oh, 
Is it an Xbox? It's very close, actually. Oh. It's a space box. This is the Space Invaders quarter-sized arcade cab. So this is going in the baby's room because she's a quarter-sized person. Yeah, actually she is. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It is about baby size. This is lovely on one of the beds, isn't it? Yeah. Engineered by Numskull Design. Lovely. Shall we actually plug it in? Okay. Because we've got the technology here, retro recipes. We're not all, all that retro. I've got a USB wire. Wow. It's going. Where? Look. Oh, it is going. Sorry. I, from my angle, I didn't realize it was so far back. Yeah. And it is moving in parallax to the text. So it's actually got two screens kind of in there. Let's have a quick game, shall we? That's <laughs> fine. There it is. You have to always remember don't destroy your own shields. Well, as Baby Frantic starts to wake up, uh, you can leave me playing this and we'll get ready to take a look at some retro homebrews. Ah, that's homebrews. Mm. And as Baby Frantic joined us for home boobs, sorry, home Bruce, I was thinking of. Next up, somebody has built, speaking of Harley Fractic and uh, Christmas movies, it looks like that's getting delivered to someone that probably bought it. Probably. I wonder where it's going. I don't know. Oh my gosh. So this is in La Mirada, California. Oh. So that second story also is not even real. That's fabricated. Amazing. And the council council have ordered him to remove it because it's not safe. I mean, maybe in a tornado, but. Wow. A cat under the, under the, the chair. The sofa, yeah. yeah. Ding. <laughs> That's a really good way if you don't have a good Chevy Chase mask. Just, but that actually looked like him under the mask, which is the weird thing. This old house in La Mirada. Good job to you. And that is it for our Christmas themed home brews. It was literally a home. Yes, it that's, was. It's been brewed. Coming up next, how would you like a nice, delicious bowl of snowy, of snowy nostalgia flakes mm. filled with snow instead of milk? Mm. Mm -hmm. And first up, how about that trip to the gallery? The gallery. I like the big ribbon. Mm. 64, 1541, 801, 1984 by Gary Ballback. Pronounced as in, can I have our ball back? And there's Gary. One year later, sitting in style. In his new ergonomic chair. Ah, it's working on his posture. Yeah. Who are these handsome chaps? R.C. Walker and his cousin. Hong brings the family together. Nice. 1976, I think that's possibly our oldest Nostalgia Flake Gallery entry. Mm, maybe. First computer for Christmas from Lanny Fisher. Big 20. For 1983's Christmas present, how nice. Lemmings, Christmas lemmings, Christmas lemmings for all. And to all a good night. I see what you did there. Looks like Christmas came early for them. Yeah. Classic Christmas Morning by Steve Randall. The Atari VCS. December 22nd, 92, Amiga 1000 and T-Shirt 1000. Not to be confused with the T-1000 from Terminator. I see again what you did there. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's got me in the mood to watch some unwrappings of okay. Christmas presents yeah. from yesteryear. And let's take a journey through the various stages of the Nintendo products from the 80s. Let's go. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at that, so that's the original NES. I love seeing Thanks my kids Dad. so happy. Cute. Don't give Daddy your money. Don't worry about oh. it. Oh, <laughs> it's come to get his money. His duck hunt gun. You have that? Yeah. The duck hunt. I don't care if I say that. Okay. He's got to still get his money. Aw. This is. What a sweet kid. Very sweet. Super Mario Brothers, the original. Good times. Oh, very nice. You got me. One of them handing dead his money and the other one trying to kill him. Love it. So what's next after the NES? That would be the N64. The SNES. The Super oh, the Nintendo. Super. Sorry. I never had a SNES. That's no excuse. Okay. Here's the SNES from Lady Tractor. Go ahead. Did I get the wrong one? We don't have a Super Nintendo. Or do you? Well, but your game won't. No! <laughs> Whoa, go cry it, maybe it will. Shoving <laughs> each other out of the way. Go, go, Mom. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, boys can make that sound. Uh, me neither. Oh maybe when they're nine. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Good one, Dad. Whoa. <laughs> for both of you guys. I would hope so. It's only for Michael. And now it's the... Nintendo 64. Yep. Mm. <laughs> I know that kind of happiness. Did you ever get something at Christmas and you were just like... It might have been my my Barbie car that I could like get in and drive around. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, it was a pink Corvette. For me, it was Ghostbusters on the Commodore 64 mm. in 1984. Next up, let's take a visit and a journey, not through, through Nintendo, but from America to England. See how those two countries celebrated their Christmases. This is the classic 1980s American experience. As a foreigner, I can safely say the American Mall is a very enticing and in intriguing place that we always saw in movies growing up and never had, really. That's so weird. Apart from Westfield uh, in Shepherd's Bush, I suppose. Oh. But that's quite modern in, yeah. in British terms. So that's America. And now here's how us Brits would celebrate Christmas Day watching Christmas TV on BBC. BBC One's package of Christmas Eve entertainment starts at 7 o'clock when Noel Edmonds presents a special telly addicts. The Payne family compete against a celebrity team. They just put tinsel around it. At 7.30, a seasonal EastEnders. Then at 8 o'clock... This is a plug for Sir Kenneth Averett's Christmas Carol. At 9, it's Jerry and June. <laughs> you seen them? At 10.30, Val Dunigan's Christmas guests include you know James Galway. No. At 11.20, a seasonal episode of The Good Life. You know that? Oh, no. Honest. Paper change in a pig star. <laughs> At 11.50, the first communion of Christmas. Oh. And that's Christmas Eve. <laughs> we get very religious on, on the BBC. One. That is so nostalgic to me. Really? Yeah, seriously. And from seeing how the BBC celebrated Christmas, well, that was their shows and this has been our show. <laughs> if you'd like to continue the Christmas theme, check out our 80s Christmas fireplace scene or even the Star Wars holiday special we recently upscaled. So it just remains for us to say a very happy Faxmas to you and yours. And until next time, thanks for watching. Subscribe and support below and... Happy Cheerio. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Holidays. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes. <laughs>